the Norwegian people has uh, um, uh, not too much knowledge on Islam. They don't know too much about Judaism. They don't know too much about the Roma people. So um, uh, I think knowledge is is an uh, utfordering, um, a challenge, mm -hmm. and um, uh, so we do have rising anti-Semitism, and we have rising um, uh, anti-Zionism, and we have Islamophobia, and we have racism. So we have a lot to do. So mm -hmm. we still have have uh, uh, need of NGOs like uh, the Center mm. Against Racism. I think what you see in a way is that you see less structural racism, less obvious racism. You find less uh, clear racists on the streets, for example. You don't find anyone going, well, very few going around shouting racist slogans. But it's there and it's more invisible, but it's more within within that culture and within the society is more what they write on, on the internet, for example, and is more within the prejudices that we have that you don't necessarily see. No one would say, I hate that group of people, or very few would, with right. a few examples. But they will use examples why Islam is a big problem for our society, how the Roma is poor and eat rats, for example. So there's all these things that uh, slightly like drips that happens constantly, which means that for a minority, living in a way they will experience racism on some levels they will feel it but it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is and i think that's part of the big problem here that we that we constantly fight against but it makes it harder to to deal with because you can't say oh he's the racist or that is the racist phrase but it's a combination of so many things that create uh, the racism that we find here and the discrimination that people experience no one in norway wants to have anti-Semite as a label on itself, nor racist. So race, to being a racist, if you accuse, accuse anyone of being racist, it's like uh, the worst you can say to anyone in Norway.